Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Sharks are fascinating creatures. Although, when you hear the word, the image that initially pops up in your head might be the more popular great white sharks. Interestingly, there are many more rare and exotic species of sharks out there in the ocean's depths, and in this video, we're going to be showing you the 10 most rare shark species hidden in the ocean. Make sure to stick around and find out which horrible shark species looks like a frightening prehistoric snake. Don't forget to hold your breath. Number 10. Nurse Shark Hilariously referred to as the couch potato of the shark world, the nurse shark leads a very lazy, unbothered, and sedentary lifestyle. It basically rests throughout the entire day and rises up only at night to creep over the sandy ocean floor to search for food. Honestly, that sounds like me throughout the whole of quarantine. As the nurse shark creeps over the sandy floors and coral reefs of its shallow water habitat, it simply, and very lazily, starts slurping up little animals along the way. However, despite the nurse shark being relatively slow and unproblematic, it's still important to give it all the space it needs. After all, it's still a shark, and people who make the mistake of being too relaxed or careless around the nurse shark end up with more than a few injuries. Getting too close to where the shark hasn't chosen to rest might lead to unexpected lashing out. Seriously, this thing might be my spirit animal. Other sharks, like great whites and whale sharks, breathe by swimming non-stop, but this lazy shark species actually has a breathing mechanism called buccal pumping that helps it breathe. Who said being a couch potato didn't come with any benefits? Number nine, the wabagum. This is yet another cool shark species that will have you wondering why great whites get all the spotlight in movie time. Wabagong is said to have been named in an Australian Aboriginal language, and the word is said to literally translate to shaggy beard, and as you can see, that's a fantastically fitting name. This shark that you're seeing right now might look like an old dusty rug that's been sitting in the basement for months, but trust me, it's a whole lot more fascinating. This spectacular species is a bottom-dwelling shark that loves to stay very close to the ocean floor and is seldom seen swimming up top and terrorizing anybody. Its green, brownish skin is covered in a unique pattern of bold markings that helps it to camouflage perfectly in the sand, so if a deep-sea diver were to get a little careless, an interesting encounter could occur and trust me when I say, their bites really, really hurt. Here's an interesting fact about this rug-like shark. It has terrible eyesight and only very sluggishly hunts for food at night. Like the nurse shark, wabagongs don't need to move to breathe, and they also use a walking mechanism to creep along the bottom of the ocean in which they stomp along the ocean floor with their pectoral and pelvic fins. How cool is that? Number eight, the basking shark. The basking shark is a large and monstrous shark that can grow up to ridiculous lengths of more than 10 meters, making it the second largest fish in the ocean. This shark waits around in the water and leaves its huge mouth open so that it can catch anything that passes by. Its mouth is incredibly large and can span more than one meter wide. Despite the ferocious and undeniably frightening appearance of the basking shark, this species will not be latching onto your leg for food. The large shark is thankfully a type of filter feeding shark that mainly feeds on plankton. When water passes through its gills, the spines of the gill rakers separate the plankton from the water. The shark then closes its mouth and pumps water out through its gills. That seems like a pretty swell and easy way to eat. Each year, the basking shark trades its old gill rakers for some new ones by shedding and regrowing. They love to make their trips in groups of about 100, and as the name also suggests, they love to swim very close to the surface with its dorsal fin out of the water and basking in the sun. Number seven, angel shark. Attention, we have an angel in our midst. Ah yes, the angel shark. This shark species is a very special type of shark. The shark has a very flat body and possesses extremely long pelvic and pectoral fins, which make it often mistaken for a ray. However, unlike rays, this bottom-dwelling shark uses its long fins to move around, something like the walking mechanism observed in the wabagong and the nurse shark. The angel shark possesses five pairs of gills located on the lower side of its body and is carnivorous with a knack for eating fish, squid, krill, lobsters, and mollusks. It can grow to two and a half meters and weigh around 77 pounds. It's a nocturnal creature that spends most of the day buried in the seabed and between ocean rocks. These sharks have very large mouths with razor-sharp teeth found at the end of a blunted snout. The younger ones have ocelots, which are basically fake eyes that help to defend them against predators. Smooth move on Mother Nature's part there. 
the fake eyes disappear once they reach adulthood and are able to defend themselves properly. It has a pair of barbels on the snout, which are basically sensory organs used to detect the prey and taste the food. Number 6. Horn Shark The horn shark is named so because of its short, blunt head and the high ridges above its eyes. It's also known for its beautiful spiral-shaped egg cases and its impressive combination of teeth in many rows. Some of its chompers are sharp, and others are specially used for crushing invertebrates like crabs, shrimp, and their favorite food, sea urchins. In fact, horn sharks sometimes have purple-stained teeth from eating too many sea urchins. When you spot that, you can easily say, ah, I know what he likes to eat best. These sharks are slow swimmers and have been known to crawl along the bottom of seabeds using their fins, but unlike other sharks, the horn shark prefers to stay put in the same area. Here's something that'll blow your mind. A horn shark was found in the exact same spot that it had once been caught, tagged, and released 11 years earlier. Can you imagine that? The longest distance a horn shark is known to have traveled is 10 miles. Number 5. Saw Shark This one's a no-brainer because you can clearly see why it's called a saw shark. The saw shark is an odd-looking fish and a pretty dangerous-looking one, too. It has sharp teeth protruding from the edges of its snout, which are used to compete with other sharks and attack its prey. The saw shark also uses the pair of barbells located in the middle of its snout to find its way around and locate vibrations of moving prey. They typically love to feed on smaller fish, crustaceans, and squids, and are described as oviparous, meaning the eggs hatch inside the female's body. Young saw sharks are born with folded teeth so that they don't injure their mother during the birthing process, and they're found in the waters of Japan, Australia, and South Africa. Number 4. Great Hammerhead Shark Now, what we have here is what we call an apex predator. This right here is one of the biggest and baddest out there. The Great Hammerhead Shark is the largest of nine species of hammerhead sharks and can easily be recognized by its unique hammer or shovel-shaped heads. The two extensions on its head give the Great Hammerhead Shark 360-degree vision, allowing it to see above and below it at all times. It lives in warm temperature and tropical waters in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and migrates to cooler waters in the summer. An adult Great Hammerhead Shark primarily feeds on stingrays, invertebrates, fish, and even other sharks. Yikes! Told you it was as big and bad as they get? Now here's something even more interesting. Some great hammerhead sharks have been found with stingray and catfish barbs sticking out of their mouths, and that suggests that they're immune to the stingray and catfish venom. How cool is that? Number 3. Goblin Shark From the name of this shark, you can probably tell things that are about to get wild. With its unusual appearance and ghostly complexion, the goblin shark looks like a prehistoric sea monster. Well, that was the nicest I could go. As though it understands that it looks extremely spooky, this shark makes itself extremely scarce and is seldom sighted. Being the only living species of a family of sharks that have become extinct, the goblin shark is sometimes referred to as a living fossil. It has a long, blade-like snout filled with receptors that pick up its prey's movements and sweeps its snout back and forth over the seabed to find its food, kind of like a metal detector searching for metals on the ocean floor. The goblin shark lives in very deep water and is thought to be a slow swimmer with extremely bad eyesight. Instead of actively hunting down prey, it waits for prey to come near it. Its jaws are attached to elastic tissues, and when prey comes within striking range, it juts out its jaw and catapults its entire mouth forward at an incredible speed of 3 meters per second. Now that's a cool way to feed! Now it's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent in by a subscriber, and you could be featured too. Make sure to shoot us a pic of anything you find interesting, and who knows, it could be yours next. Number 2. Frilled Shark the frilled shark is one of the most fascinating and terrifying looking creatures the planet's ocean has hidden in its depths. This shark actually looks like an underwater snake with a long, smooth body that coils and bends just like the legless reptile. Interestingly, its face also looks much like that of a snake, too. It has deep-set eyes, and unlike other sharks, its jaw is at the end of its snout instead of underneath it. The frilled shark is called so because of the six gill slits on each side of its body that form a frill-like collar at the front of its throat. An adult frilled shark can grow up to almost 10 feet, and while it's smaller than some of the other sharks on this list, it is by no means less ferocious. The frilled shark's snout is lined with about 300 teeth divided into 25 rows. 
The teeth are fork-shaped and face backwards, making it practically impossible for its prey to escape. The frilled shark lives very deep in the ocean and is hardly ever seen, thankfully. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, pocket shark. The pocket shark is an exceptionally rare shark species and specimens have only ever been captured or reported twice in the history of fisheries science. Both specimens were separate species that were captured in separate oceans. The two pocket sharks are exceedingly rare and had only five distinctive features, proving that they were from the same family of sharks, but were different species. Next to nothing is known about these sharks, except that they look a whole lot like whales and have numerous photophores, making them luminous. That's it guys, we have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to totally smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.